Hello everybody. You don't usually see me getting into the safety gear like a full face respirator, but today we're going to try sandblasting that trailer frame. So stick around. Before we fire up the sandblaster, I wanted to show you all what kind of condition the steel is in. As you can see, the main two center beams have some scaly rust on them, but the uh, joists themselves are not in too bad a shape. Still some paint sticking on there and some surface rust. Shouldn't be too bad to clean those up. Also, thank you everybody very much for your comments on a previous video when I asked you about cutting the trailer down. You've changed my opinion on it and I'll leave it the full seven feet wide. At least for now, uh, I think uh, it'll be fun to, to try that out. Uh, so thank you everybody very much for your comments on it. I really do appreciate them. This is the 40 pound abrasive blaster from Harbor Freight. And it's a pretty simple basic tool. And the guy who sold it to me, because this is a used one, uh, included all of this sand and aggregate with it. Now the number one complaint that I've heard from other people on YouTube is that it uses a ton of air. So I replaced the single nipple with a couple of T's, so now I have three. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to hook up three air compressors to it. That's right. So I am borrowing these two red ones. Something I'm really excited to find out, can three air compressors run on my 6K Ames? Because we have been off grid almost the entire summer, uh, with just the exception of a few handful of days here and there. Uh, we've been running just on this system alone. So we're going to try running three air compressors <laughs> on a 6K Ames inverter. Now over here you can see where the, the big rough, rough stuff is and this is what I want to get off. And I think I was doing that pretty well like over here but not getting it down to the bare metal like I was on top. So I think I'm going to focus more like this area or like over here where I knocked off the big stuff. It's now the next day. Now last night I was testing the sandblaster on different parts of the frame. I wanted to see how time efficient it was to maybe take it right down to bare steel, but it just took way too much time to do that. So I decided I'll just knock off the big stuff with a, a very light pass, and then I'm gonna use a rust converting primer. So that's what I'm doing today, and it took a total of three hours to sandblast the frame. Some parts of the frame still had a little bit of surface rust on them, but it was actually really clean. And that Ames inverter did great. It powered all three air compressors that whole time. They were running continuously. Uh, so everything worked out really well. Well, I'm gonna use this metal primer. It's from Core Seal. It's supposed to convert whatever rust is still there uh, into the paint, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure how it works, but 
it's something I'm going to try. Uh, hopefully it works well. So let's shake this up and get a coat on here. The light is fading fast. I only have probably 20 more minutes of light. <laughs> so you can see the paint is still white in some areas and turning black in some. This is the next day after applying Cora Seal, and some areas look like this. So I'm not sure if I maybe sandblasted too much. I tried to be really quick with Um, yeah, or maybe I didn't apply enough of this Cora Seal, or maybe I should have used a different primer. Well, it's morning, and it's been a few days since the last video, uh, so it has actually rained yesterday. So these things are getting a layer of rust on them more so than before. Maybe that means the paint will actually work better. Who knows? <laughs> so places like this really got a lot of rust on them so I'm gonna go through and put on another coat of this paint you can see the old layer doesn't really look any different than last video maybe a little bit more rust I'm not sure okay we can play ball too <laughs> okay I just put a second coat on this area which kind of looked rusty uh, after the first coat now this back half I Had to wait two days and it actually rained yesterday. So this had a layer of uh, Light surface rust on it and this side is coming out a lot prettier So this uh, paint really needed that rust on it perhaps uh, Next time if I sandblast an area, I'm just going to use regular primer instead of the rust converting primer and just went through and finished off the gallon. Used everything I had. So I'm going to wait for this to dry a bit and then I'm going to flip the trailer and do the underside. Yes, some things are sticking. <laughs> uh, it's not a perfect situation, but it's just a fun utility trailer, so I'm not too concerned with it. I think it looks pretty good for just being spray painted. Just finished spraying the underside with a final coat. Yeah, turn. Yeah, the hub can turn. <laughs> uh, the water. Water? I hope there's no water in there. That's where the grease goes. I just picked up this LED light kit from Amazon. We have some marker tape, wiring, I'm using this fish tape and I just fished it through because down the center of the trailer frame it's boxed in. I didn't record the rest of the wiring of the lights. I just had to get out of there because a Craigslist post popped up for some free pressure treated lumber. It was an old deck and I had to take off and go get it and be the first one there. Thank you everybody very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And check out the links in the description below, including the Patreon page. That really does help the channel out a lot. Thank you. And this is why you can't have nice things. Anybody see it? Do you see it now? Right there. <laughs> I was sideswiped on the road by a big truck. 
This is the first time I drove the trailer out and I went to get all this pressure treated lumber. It's used and uh, I was going to denail it to make the decking for the trailer and right on a corner I was actually uh, at a standstill. I was stopped and the other guy came around the corner real tight and grabbed this back corner and ripped it up. <laughs> so kind of crumpled it all up. <laughs> And that's why you can't have nice things. Here it was, it was, you know, I have two coats of primer, I sandblasted it, I painted it, I was all excited. <laughs> it was looking sharp, and now it doesn't. Oh well. <laughs>